fresh and clean Hello beautiful people, this is Jerusha Tires as always, DJ Ashley, MC Emma, uh, Shiba Ejofo on U24, fresh and clean. Uh, it always happens at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays and repeats on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Today I'm with um, a lovely person. I don't know if you guys know him or my name anywhere, but he's called Ashte. Is it Ashtray? Ashtray. So Ashtray, what's up? Nothing much. How are you, Jerusha Tides? I'm good. Okay, my name is MC Ashtray. MC Ashtray. With uh, a specific brand mm. that follows the party captain. Mm. So most people know me as MC Ashtray, the party captain. Mm. When it's time I, think, for vibes. I think people that went to the Nyungyamawe festival, I think they saw you. Definitely, they saw the impact that we cause because mm. the impact is always heavy when the body mm. captain is in mm. the area. I didn't expect that thing to have like so many people, like because it rained. Eh? It and did. I thought, like, you know, since it has rained, people are not going to turn up, but people turned up like there are so many. And I was like, ah. The best part of the event is mm. these artists really performed in rain. Mm. You know, Dax Vibes saying yeah. it's been a while. Without mm. you know having rain on me, mm. Fefe Busi coming in, mm. cast me, so it was really nice having mm. a party in the woods yeah. and the, the wet woods. Mm. Yeah. So basically, um, when we get to the trends, uh, you saw Hannah Kalema. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Do. She's now the like Miss World Africa. You know, Uganda, we are ex exporting nice and quality talent mm. i mean look at that now but you know ugandans ugandans are weird like when she first won the miss uganda thing people yeah. were like ah you don't even uganda and what what stuff like that but now she has pushed forward and you know she has represented us because you know being you know miss world africa like the whole of africa uganda to be on top like you know it's crazy it's amazing exactly exactly we appreciate uh, the good representation outside there and trust me by the fact that she is called kalema mm. i mean who's going to doubt she's ugandan <laughs> she, she's mixed actually she said uh, the mom is randy's yeah. and the father is uh, uncle so okay mm. we own her yeah she is ugandan we are proud and she grew up from here like okay mm. wherever she is we thank you very much and yeah. uh we pray that you may go higher and higher. The higher you go, the higher our flags mm. go. Thank yeah. you for making us proud. It's really amazing. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate a lot. Actually, a record Jaga to the cigars like all the time, eh? Mm. Miss World Africa. Now, if if one time, hmm? yeah. somebody from Uganda represents us and then they become maybe like Miss World. Miss World. Aha. You know dreams come true. Why not? <laughs> Everyone wants to come to Uganda because this is the part of Africa and mm. we represent outside with mm. quality. Mm. Check out mm. uh, Miss World. But how come I've never seen uh, Somalis like, going into those things? Uh, Somalis, Somalis are beautiful. Mm. The men are handsome, but it all comes back to the self-confidence and mm. the motivation. It's yeah. Ugandans. Mm. We always make it happen. Mm. That is why stepping on those big stages we have big acts in mm. uganda who are making moves that you cannot imagine mm. but you'll see them on media it's because of the heart of the ugandan mm. so i strongly believe mm. we are motivated and ugandans are so like talented and i don't know how to explain this like like when somebody sets their eyes on something, yeah. they really have to achieve it. Exactly. So I think it makes us extraordinary. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So tell us, uh -huh, what has been trending on your side? Uh, on my side, as, as the party captain, of course, I would love to chip in the parties first. Mm. We've had a busy weekend. Mm. People are here and there. Yeah. You know? Uh, we had Jinjera, mm. which was really a vibe. Mm. Yeah, I passed there mm. a little while before heading to Ndeku. Mm. But I, I really loved the production. I mm. loved everything. What I'm loving about Uganda 
is the production is going next level. Mm. So our events are becoming. Some someone said in Uganda, people only like they just have fun, whether they are poor, whether they are broke. Like if there is anything and it needs, you know, there is fun. There is fun, mm. and it's regardless of the price because mm. we have a budget in our mind mm. already. What you kid amuti for? You already know how much <laughs> you're gonna spend. <laughs> well, <laughs> or when I went to that Nigeria stuff, there yeah. was a guy. Cause like, follow the value of bouncing the leg. Guy, take my ticket. Guy, guy, you cook a guy, you go and the ticket is too long to allow. Funny, funny. But I didn't deliver. Oh my god. Yeah, Ginger was nice, but of course, since the party captain was at Nyungu Yamawe, mm. I mean, this is MC Uganda and Chex, yeah, mm. something like that. I mean, it was nice, it yeah. was a good concept. You know, partying in the woods, we've been in bars, we've been in structures, concerts, mm. but it was a nice experience being in the woods mm. and the rain. Mm. Guys were dancing crazy. Media, media is gonna boom. Mm. So content is coming out soon. Yeah. Yeah, then of course there are a lot of trends in the country, mm. Kampala specifically. Mm. We are having people going crazy here and there, yeah, here and yeah. there. These TikTokers are, are, are so. So there is this trend, like okay, people have been talking about TikTokers and yeah. celebrities, like of how they look different in reality, and then like on cameras they look so good. Like you date a girl because you've seen her from TikTok, you know you love her and all that. Mm. Thinking, she looks like the way she looks on media. Yeah. Then when you get to meet them in person, you expect yeah. somebody's brown, mm. you find that dark skin, and you're like, okay. You get disappointed, that kind of disappointment. Yeah. But still, like, we all know that filters are filters. Social media is social media. Like, what can you say about that? What can I say about that? You know, these days love is lo is losing its way. Mm. You know, back then the way our fathers used to do mm. it. You get to know a lady, you first meet up with a lady, uh -huh. then next you meet up with the friends, mm. then you meet up with the family. Mm. These days, social media has made a shortcut. Mm. And I won't blame the filters. Yeah. Because there are many filters that you can use, actually. Mm. You personally, you would request for yeah. an, a normal pick. Mm. Just say portrait. Mm. I mean, iPhone users understand this. Yeah, thing. yeah. You get portrait. You get or a full pic because there is a trend of sending half pics. Mm. Your faces are good. I mean, look at her; she's beautiful. <laughs> mm. But I want to see her whole body. Mm. You get so uh, these TikTokers, uh, these people in media, they are using the new system. Yeah. To get whatever they want or to reach a certain goal. Mm. So a lady who portray a different image. Mm on phone and when you meet her it's actually different even the curves are not giving mm. i mean mm. i see your curves. like you know nowadays for you like there are so many ways you can edit like pictures and all that like you find somebody's really slim but then in the pictures she'll have like big gosh <laughs> positioning like, huh? you know so this is a guy man i think it's it's really hard for people more so these long distance relationships yeah. like somebody is, is is in like the u.s and then they're dating somebody from uganda of course as the guy you want to portray that you know you're all that yeah you get like mm. you know the nyash everything and all that so it becomes so difficult for this person to really know like what you really are like physically and all that and nowadays there's even ais somebody can text you but then maybe she's apologizing to you but then the whole message was written by ai or <laughs> jirava jerusha you can't text me using ai and i don't get to know how can you be so some punctual? people some people some people can't know for real please people check yourselves Check your, and your, people, your like I can get that message. I edit, put some stuff, maybe put your name and all that, mm. and I swear you won't notice. Kampala men, we are not romantic. <laughs> we are only romantic when we have money. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words mm. these days. So anyway, we've had so many claims. Like you can even find your own social media, maybe like Instagram. Somebody texts you, and you know, he's like, you know, I like you and all that. You text somebody, you yeah. think you're talking to that person you see on social media, but you're talking to maybe some Nigerian in Lagos and uh -huh. he's claiming he's in USA. Like, yes. those things happen a lot. Somebody will get Michael B. Jackson photos and they put them uh, on that post profile. Post them on the page. Uh -huh. yeah. 
Yeah. So when you when you talk, you think you're talking to maybe a celebrity or oh. that's how people are, you know, framed and all that. Somebody comes in your inbox asking for money, you know what? Uh send me some money. I'm a celebrity. Oh, please double check the people you talk to, especially the celebrities. Mm. Get to know which platform does this celebrity actually use to yeah. communicate. Mm. If not, please try direct calls because mm. Michael B's that I mean Michael B's voice mm, hey. is known. Mm. You get, but because, do you know that? Do you know that that also those apps people use to change their voices? I mean, you're putting in a lot of work. <laughs> like the only way you can identify that something is real is physically. Uh, but a phone, a phone, everything is just crazy. Like, tell me about you. When everyone is seeing, mm. how do you do it? Okay, me basically. I, I'm also into media, social media. TikTok, what what I, I have some followings, but mm. then uh, I don't really fake that much. You don't fake, but you it, do fake. I try, <laughs> you know. You know there is this saying that goes, "Fake it until you make it." it. <laughs> I don't blame anyone out there faking anything or trying to show us something different. Mm. But what I can tell you is, eventually we get to know. Yeah. So make but there are things that are understandable. Imagine I'm working for a brand, and then like uh, my media has to, my social media has to look good. Like if if I have maybe like pimples stuff like that, mm. and I'm I'm marketing for somebody like clothes. Of course, I'll get those filters, you know, trying to remove, try to remove some, you know, rashes, things like that. Mm. So when somebody looks at the picture, they will be like, "Wow, this picture is so nice. I want to buy that dress." Yeah. You can't come all weird on, on social media. You post yourself and you expect people to appreciate. Uh, the key players in social media these days who have really made the money have understood the aspect of branding. Mm. I won't, but... That's the use of makeup and all that. I won't blame you for the way you brand yourself because mm. that is what I want to see. I want to see yeah. class. I want to see quality. Mm. If you're a lady I want to be with or date, yeah. I want to see that class. You can have your makeup on. I mean, there are very many makeup artists, mm. but don't, don't make it too much. <laughs> okay. Hey. Let me also see you. Mm. Uh, let me see the baby Dunya. Uh, hey. The skin shining, not glowing all hey. the time. So, in the aspect of branding, I think there are people who have dated girls and they've never seen how they really look like. like whenever you see her, whenever you meet her, she has makeup. Even when you're in bed, she has makeup. Talk to me directly. <laughs> I'll tell you how it is, <laughs> my brothers. Anyway, that has been our train for you. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. Uh, we still have a load for you today. And it, it, since it has been a, be a beautiful week, mm -hmm. we have some different aspects we want to touch as the youth, people who <coughs> are enjoying the life. With my lady, of course, today, mm. Jerusha Ties. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Jerusha ties. Uh, without wasting time, I really I felt so impacted with this mm. topic, and I thought that we as the youth should really get into it, and we get to understand. Yeah. Very many people are really <coughs> facing it, and as entertainers in this game, we shall be here to always direct in the right way. Mm. So the topic for today is truth and reconciliation. reconciliation. First, think about it before we even go deeper in it as entertainers. Mm. Truth and reconciliation. Mm. In a big aspect, we are talking about entertainment. We are talking about your personal life, family, yeah. friends. I mean, this is something big we ignore so much. It's very big. Like, you find it can cause a lot. Like, you know, truth, reconciliation. So I want to, I want to ask you a question, a simple question. Mm. What is truth to you? Truth. I feel like truth is truth. <laughs> okay, like truth is uh, reality, facts. Like, you know, uh, if if we are friends, yeah. and then maybe you find out something that I've done, uh, and and maybe like I try to mm. be like, no, that's on me. I didn't do that. You know, mm. trying to lie. But then still, the truth is, I did. That's, yeah, that's something. So we've seen so many conflicts uh, in youth, like 
uh, misunderstandings, even in celebrities, even in the entertainment industry, like a lot, a lot of misunderstandings. Yeah. But then people don't want to come out and speak the truth, you know. Yeah. Everyone want, wants to show that they're right, you know. Okay. Well, you understand truth, mm. I would say. So bring it back to reconciliation. Yeah. You re you you've been here before. I can mm. tell. <laughs> so reconciliation is uh, when uh, you come to an agreement, and you know you're like, let's leave that besides. Like let's continue the friendship. Mm. Let's um, continue with the partnership, working together, and all that. Let's forget all the past and mm. drop it aside. You know. Spread mm. love. Spread love. Yeah. Okay. So you're making amends, mm. making up for anything. You know, before reconciliation, there is damage. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. So yeah, reconciliation is a very big factor that we should consider because we damage a lot, we mm. go astray a lot. Yeah. And uh, the truth, the truth bit of it all, when it comes to the youth, in my perspective, mm. truth just be right. Mm. Mm. be on the right side yeah. you'll be correct mm. come mm. clean i mean we we fear telling the truth because we are thi thinking about what the other person will think about yeah. me i mean i'm i'm, I'm an mc huh? mm. i'm always out there so if you are to be my friend or you want to be my friend you know i'm going to lie to you every yeah, time yeah. you get mm. because i don't want you to see the other aspect of me mm. that i've been but i've been with many I had I had that MCs like um in most cases you guys have like lots of girls running after you. <laughs> I was trying to skip that but well lots of girls running after you. So when they see you on stage <coughs> with other girls, you know, mm. you'll be like, These are my friends, you know, lie here and there. I'm I'm about to get deep in this conversation. Forgive mm. my voice, I had a long mm. weekend. Yeah. What you see is not what is right. <laughs> it, it, it is not the truth. Uh, it's not the truth. Yeah. Because yes, I am human. Yeah. We are human. I speak on behalf of all entertainers mm. who have not gotten truth into mm. their career because mm. we rely too much to hide a lot. Yeah, yeah. True. But if there is nothing to hide, I'll tell you the truth and you leave me for who I am. Mm. So basically, women will always come into the picture for the gentleman mm. and if you are a lady like mm. you who is now hosting now talk about those celebrity ladies who are young mm. how do they handle their relationships would you like to know <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth yeah <laughs> so you need to get to them and then you get to know the truth mm. but majorly in entertainment when we are speaking the truth yeah we're just trying to tell you what we'll be passing through Mm. Now that is the truth. Ignore what I like. Ignore. But I think, do you know that there are some people who don't really want the truth? Like, when you come out and you, s you know, like, okay, let's based on the relationship. Yeah. Okay, when somebody sees me with my social media and all that, and then you're, you're dating them, they'll be like, but are you sure you, you, you have only me or the other guys and all mm. that? Probably you come out and be like, I have only you, like there's another guy. But then since tomorrow he's gonna see you with those of MC Emma, um, um MC uh, okay, those of Shiba uh, no Shiba is a girl, DJ Ashley, you know, all those people. Yeah. So when they see you with them, they'll be like, mm, Are mm. you sure you guys like there's nothing like and they see you with celebrities, oh she must be sleeping with her celebrities. She must Okay. So it's, let me jump in there exactly mm. at that point. Yeah. Before truth comes in, there needs to be a bond. Mm. Why do these, you know, celebrities can be together for a long time. Yeah. They can have something going on for a long time. Mm. People expect <coughs> us, you, everyone out there who is in the spotlight business, mm. not to have a long relationship. Mm. Why do we say no to that? Mm. It is because we are true. To these partners we decide and it's always one mm. ladies and gentlemen it can never be two mm. it is always one yeah. if i decide to be true to you jerusha mm. i will be true to you yeah but i need to create that bond mm. this is what we leave out most times when we are interacting with these people yeah you are out there hustling because you want to be somewhere mm. you get you're, you're building a brand mm. 
something that has to stand for years and you want to work with someone yeah i want to work with a lady mm. you want to work with a gentleman yeah so where does the truth come in creating that bond with that person mm. i mean i need you to trust me that you are the one yeah if you don't trust me then you're not the one yeah. i stand by my line <laughs> and i'll repeat it so, i need you to trust me if you are the one if you don't trust me mm. then you ain't the one okay i understand trust trust can be there but okay there's some uh there's some situations where you understand that somebody's really gonna feel bad now like me an example yeah i've gone on stage did, did you see that video the omale video oh talk about it <laughs> like I've, I've gone out maybe with my boyfriend and all that then the celebrity calls you out you know i would defend the lady <laughs> I would defend the lady uh, because in these concerts there are which is a time you mm. know that, just getting that spot in front when yeah, you're yeah. seeing Lay yeah? mm. seeing Omale now face to face I mean first of all when Omale raises his hand mm. to pick you up you cannot refuse <laughs> why am I saying this first of all this is an international act yeah. that is one and this is a lady who is hyped up now uh-huh. he's caught in the moment mm. So the media just exaggerated that situation mm. but I would say the lady was caught in the moment. But just imagine like how how okay how would you feel if it was your girl? Okay, now you're bouncing the question back to me <laughs> which is really challenging. How would mm. I feel if I'm the gentleman? It's, it's okay to the other people but you as a person who is in the relationship with that yeah. pass the mm. girl like you would feel, you know, kind of yes, betrayed and all that. Like, is it just even watching a guy touch your girl just even like this you feel like you know what we feed our mind as the youth mm. is what really comes out or depicts in the in the world in the real world now yeah that is why they say mentally the youth should be more stronger mentally because mm. uh, my lady is somewhere out there with people i don't know mm. i decide not to think about it because mm. if i think about it it will mess my program of the day yeah yeah true. you get so in that situation of omale and the lady and this boyfriend of course mm. you should the, the boyfriend should know that the bond that he has with the lady is much more stronger mm. than the bond omale will ever have with that lady even though he tries mm. Mm. you get mm. So we take time with build bonds with these people mm. we love or we really want to be with yeah. even friends but never forget that it is a mental game mm. psychology branding beating it bagamba okuchikuba mm. beating it in the real life it's all about the the, the, the mental So so now let's talk about the reconciliation part because i feel that's the hardest truth is hard but then even reconciling oh my god beat it again reconciliation mm. as an entertainer uh, with the uh, experience of five years mm. in the entertainment game i've done more bad than good mm. i accept mm. uh before reconciliation there are damages yeah you get and we mess up so much the youth mm. mess up so much because they are trying out this they are trying out that mm. they have no assurance of any action yeah that is why reconciliation is a biggest step mm. after the damage has been made mm. otherwise we may damage everyone we come across yeah but if i really have a bond with someone some friendship or someone i have a future with mm. in terms of business in terms of branding in terms of uh, let me say partnership in anything yeah i'd really consider reconciliation being a big part of the thing because mm. i may get it wrong somewhere mm. but i won't get it wrong all the time mm. so reconciliation is simply making up for my wrongs mm. i think uh, people just make it so hard but like as human beings we're not perfect like Definitely. we're always gonna make mistakes yeah i'm gonna offend you you're gonna offend me but we just have to know like mm. If you've done something wrong you accept the fact that you've done something wrong yes uh take the responsibility uh apologize so that yeah you can make up Do you know that when somebody annoys you like today and they apologize like immediately it's so easy to forgive them but then when when somebody annoys annoys you for like uh, a week and they come back like after some time you 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 even start to question why is he coming back to apologize maybe there's maybe there's something he wants 
Okay, about that, I would reflect upon my uh, beautiful auntie, mm. uh, Wally Beroon Jim. Mm. Uh, she told me, time heals all ones. Mm. You get? Mm. No matter what, anything you pass through in life, give it time. Mm. Now, that time is the time of reconciliation. Mm. Because before you forgive the person, you first forgive yourself. Mm. Before, if you break my heart, because mm. this is common among the youth. Yeah. If any dude breaks your heart, before you think about forgiving him, forgive yourself mm. for engaging with him. Mm. There, you would have accepted. Mm. The first step to forgiveness is accepting. Yeah, yeah. You get. So you accept, forgive yourself. It will be much more easier to forgive this person you are with. Mm. And if you are able to forget, by God's grace, which is the hardest bit. Oh, forgetting is really hard, like, so hard. Because whenever somebody does anything else, you'll be like, even last time you did this. So, it's really hard. You did this. Uh, in, in youth relationships, there are very many instances where we break up several times. Mm. Something small, you're broken up. You're broken up. Yeah. Your, your partner, you're broken up. You're broken the bond because of something small. Mm. But what I, what I say is, um, when you get in situations like that in life, mm. stand by your truth. You get yeah. the reconciliation bit comes in considering the factor of time mm. and the bond. What do we have between you and I? Is it worth fighting for? Mm. If it's not wi worth fighting for, create bonds, mm. create relationships. Mm. Yeah. Uh, someone said, uh, let me share this with you. Businesses don't grow on. Uh, trees people mm. or assets yeah businesses and any form of engagement goes with a relationship mm. the difference is what type of relationship do you have mm. you get you and i you have a business relationship yeah that is worth fighting for mm. i'll forgive you 77 times seven yeah. times yeah. like jesus said mm. <laughs> yeah jesus said let's go to the bible you've messed up twice I'm not forgiving you. Mm. Am I really following the directives that Jesus gave us? No. Jesus said, forgive 77 times, seven times. Mm. I've forgiven you thrice. I'm not yet there. Mm. You get. Mm. So um, we, these people we have in life, they, have, they are facing their own wars. They are fighting their own battles, which we understand. Mm. But the bond we have matters. And the plan we have for the future, you and I, is mm. what we should consider first. So guys, you've heard him right. Yeah, that has been our topic for today. Like, you know, you have to keep that bond. Like your friends, family, it's so easy. Just reconcile and things are gonna be better. Let's have a break, we'll be right back. Welcome back, beautiful people. This is still U24, fresh and clean as always. DJ Ashley, MC Emma, Ajo4, and Jerusha Ties. So we are back with our premium. A video premiere yeah and i have an artist for you guys i don't know if you guys know him one is a music way but he's talented and he's really so good let me let him introduce himself yo welcome my people this is your boy nature crime ug straight out of from crime empire mm. yeah man we have a bad so so come on cafe now i'm the girl them daddy girl them daddy sure I'm the girl, them daddy. Mochi don't go with them or to be zoom zanga. Yeah, I'm the girl, them daddy. Girl, them sugar. Girl, them drug. Mm. Yeah, man. We uh, really, by to get the premiere ring. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, guys, the song is really so nice. <clears throat> it's really amazing. Katso got to it about your music. Like, how did you start? Uh, music, I started music in 2020. Mm. So far, like, in the industry, I can start. Uh, yeah, I started the song Bali Bali with No Fear mm. and Robert Jadu Zanyao Scream. Mm. Uh, so this is my latest song, it's called Daddy. Daddy? Yeah. To all our sugar mama, then Katiyoz is Daddy. Kwegamba, eh? Eh, yeah. Imba Raka Winyo. So what inspired you, like, no gamba, umanyi kanta and ike music? Like, <laughs> like, kai, like, I used to listen to so many artists in mm. Uganda, like Bini Ganta, Mm. And like Viper Ranking, mm. those are the people who inspired me. Mm. And yeah, dance hall, eh? dance yeah, hall music. Yeah, I do dance hall. Mm. I do kind like my dance hall is kind of unique. Mm. 
dan so gwan ku bari abban ali kind of abban oh yeah uh, so basically kati nyimba so what do you base on what, like are you the one who writes your song yeah i do write my song hey. uh, kira, yeah kale me to write a song to depending aku situation jendi mukali mm. kai like wolo well, ogenda anga like you want to sing on a love love song or segera so we better my heart break yeah no. of course oh you need never heart break currently my destiny na era we chibanga che chiri mutima gwange chiba che chingine okunga kata ko kuimba ko kuchimba ko eh yeah so aha uh-huh, like your music do you have like management which you... uh, like currently I, i don't have a management Mm. I have a team it's called Crime Empire but ali bange bonna banyamba ko yatin trends my stylist mm. uh Saudi promotions peace promoter mm. but ali bange mwena mwena big up bali mm. Crime Empire mm. eh bibanyamba ko mm. <coughs> So if you're there and you're watching guy in a talent you want to manage an artist he's here Yeah who could be the kalango maybe let me give you my number my number is 0742090689 mm. mm. Yeah So aha uh-huh, like <coughs> kati music po watani kango muandi kana utani come releasing like to ina challenges wa facing anga cuz I was singing bagamba banga bakatandi kabere we bikonde wabera wochi like I think we bikonde bimba was currently the sina challenges kale sina laba mpozi like challenges zenizo kulaba anti kale music wa fe turao kufuna amate tuteka mu chinene nyo so like chenyizo chenyizo kugamba ntito taga like abantu kale ba walude mu industry but we support if ever mm. abayimbi abajja mm. like be ba creating eu kale like websites mm. so bolo kusasu kale like na tsoro kwa uploading eu music wa fe ni ba tusasula nga wala ba spotify ngedi je chikola mu so like we need things like that kale na fe so lo kuna mama wa don jazzy abawa don yeah of course to to meta gira dalanga watu yamba ko kale kuba like aba abalude mu industry ba bimanyi kwa kale website zili wao waneno zen singo kula ba like tezisa sura yeah. like ba uploading a music wa waimbi na ite basa sura so mm. like peta ga website sezo mm. so uloku uploading a music wa fat this yeah. our streaming a music oyo mm. wa vedanga na na basa sura tusa sura mm. so like peta ga into where bicho mm. kwa like challenge zen, zen singo kusanze kale kula ba mu industry mm. like tuteka mu nyona ya kuziza kale chiba mm. chifuna eh, tufuna katono mm. yeah so kati music music ko mtu abanga mu release nze like management ya single funa mu over artist ya single funa like it depends it depends mm. kale like chisi nzira contract je mu akola mm. so like kale kwanza currently siri siri management ya yeah. amine team na enga like chisi nzira ku contract je mu like mukoze. the team you in mu na muri bayimbi wa just no like i'm the only artist so oh. like bali banyamba ko ba stylist ba promoters mm. na balala ba chali ban kale le, banyamba ko financial ya ba mukale ke basobo de chona chona so mm. yeah and that's really good <coughs> so mu uri de mwana bagambe you guys as uganda tu no kote ka mwe chintu support each other or to say yo where the music o chikubye o zimya mayumba like these are these young artists like they have talent like yeah. mama nyo yimba nera kuba te mwagala you know watu lazima support nenga hey. support yetu je tagira dalala mm. wana ange abayimbi abanene bona bona bali yeyo yeah bali no tuko atako kuba bagamba enyonye enyonye nkuru ya igirize nto kubuka mm. so like tube tagira dalala mm. abayimbi abanene mwa bali no tuko actually ba artist ba artist <coughs> bano manye they think wabanga munene na yamba bona ba artist mbubage na kuja ba out shining like ba mujeo eh, nenga tsibwe kitobe kiba kwa tuchitabye ko ne Nigeria uh-huh. like i can give an example nga olaba like olamide mm. like umulabi ya shining ako na ikati sawa zinakute kwa sake Aha. and fireboy usegera mm. like peter gave into where we go yeah abayimbi abanene ne baja ne batu kwata ko na fair wala ko tuta support ya elo za demo muba mugenda te ba pushing anyo cuz mo money abana be bagala ba use yeah of course yeah cuz kati za right now so as streaming music smanga wa ba kamilioni ba of course kwa like to tori mu regime ya not in the regime so bane taga music nga wa fe cuz e chinto gena wandika ko bela nange na experience of course go ba tegera situation ye ye twitter mu kati So like Twitter ga Twitter ga support ya bayimbi abanene ya watu yambe ko la kuda yone baranira sente mu government si manya yeah. federation association mm. mujemu kwate kuwana bayimbi abato yeah. oba supporting kuba 
Actually, support the music of I think is pushing a music because already music was. Yeah, music, music was. Yeah, but now since then the club and now we are singing, we are getting together. Like, by the music, we are just singing. We are singing. So like, yes, we are pushing. Like, we are pushing. Eh, 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 we so, but I want to talk about like your handles. Where can they find your music? Uh, like, like my music is on Spotify, Apple Music, Boomplay, Tidal, mm. YouTube. Eh, music here, na jali. Mm. Every store, every music store, mm. music wa ngai jali. Join us social handles like, like TikTok, Nature Crime UG, mm. Instagram Nature Crime, mm. Facebook Nature Crime. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, Kati, Oluyimba. Rimba, what we daddy, the girl, them dad. Yeah, it's a dance soul song. Yeah, I remember a cabin yo. Get them subscribing a YouTube channel, young Genetic Crime. That's the song, I'm the girl, them dad. Yeah, yeah. So basically, that has been our artist for the day. Yeah, let's have a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, beautiful people. That has been our premier song. And we're back with our countdown. And our number five song is Kuchakala. Eh? Kuchakala na Kuwa. Six Killers. By Six Killers. Like that song, the one I saw called Do I think I'm a Burundi. The more I listen to it. Mm. Eh, Dabanga, eh, do describing a Uganda. Uh -huh. Chakala na Kuwa. Enjoyment. Eh. Mm -hmm. Enjoyment, ko enjoyment. Kana kai mbakati. Six killers is a new person, mm. new kid on the block. Ah, kai manga wakala ba koke yogele la. Yeah. Kuchia kala na kuba. No one wants to be on. Na kala manya. Tuenga tuvude ko. Yeah. Then our uh, number four song is Carol by Fit for Maker. Ah. Uh, Big Famaker has been a big time player. Oh, you must have heard of him. He's loved like when he went to Magala Fit. I personally, I love Fit so much. Like Fit Famaker, you know, Jolly took Magala New because yeah. of one thing: consistency. Mm. Mm. He's blessed. I never favor, you know, being there and just about to. But you remember releasing? It's a hit. It's a oh, hit. Ah. Mm. On a Moyo Ganda, it's really hard. Are there there is this thing of Nyagala album number, any mm. many numbers? So it is okay, but cast mm. over auto feeding. Yeah. So Caro Caro is really a nice song. Mm. I'm going to give it more time. Mm. I listen to it since it's from, of course, the King Kong himself. Mm. It's definitely going to be something different. So let's have our number five and number four. We'll be right back. That has been our number five and number four for you and. We're back with our number three and number two. Give us our number three song. Our uh, number three is uh, Everything by Vic Tony. Mm. I mean, who doesn't know Vic Tony in Africa, mm. <laughs> Uganda, mm. nationwide? Mm. This is a guy with vocal drills. The real mm. And the song Everything, it has been, it's a club banger. Yeah. It's been hitting the clubs real hard. Mm. I think you've, you, you've heard it, right? Yeah, yeah. How, how, how does it make you feel? It's nice. Like nowadays, I really appreciate Ugandan artists. Like when we were new artists, Abapia, like the music is just crazy. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Of course, Kati, melody. Eh? Melody is an of these days. <laughs> eh? Someone <laughs> bring the song. <laughs> so of course, it 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 really qualified to be our number three on the mm -hmm. countdown. That is. Everything by Victoni, mm. and uh, of course, number two, let's take it a little bit international. We have um, We Can't Be Friends by Ariana Grande. Grande. Mm. This is the latest thing, I'll let you tell me. Yeah, like Ariana Grande is one of uh, my favorites. Like, you know, all girls actually, mm. the vocal and everything, like she's so talented, music way, woman, despite the other facts that her life is a mess. You know, uh, I mean, how, how is her life a mess? Like, okay, when it comes to relationships and all that, just it's crazy. It will take us back to our topic, but <laughs> <laughs> nevertheless, Ariana Grande mm. has been keeping our young girls on point. Yeah, you know, all of you, I mean, quite a great deal mm. of you are really seeing her as a role model. Yeah. So I don't know what you really like about Ariana Grande. No, Ariana Grande, I just lo love her music. Like, music. When you listen to her music, like, 
I know the talent. She has the talent. She's talent. good. Uh. So basically, music wise, she is, you know, something. But then lifestyle. Uh. Okay. But I believe uh, in time to come, you 24 will be able to, you know, Host. stage a show. And Ariana is the guest artist. Yeah. <laughs> that is okay. <laughs> then let's have a number three and number two. It has been our number three and number two for you. Uh, we're back with our bonus track and our number one song. Our, our bonus track today is uh, My Pose. My Pose. The Damon Platinums. Mr. Blue. Mm. Mm. I'll put my hands up for Damon Platinum. Why am I saying this? Mm. When we are on stage or when we are doing something that we love, mm. We have different categories of people, even mm. in artists, not only MCs, not only dancers, mm. musicians. These musicians now, there is a musician with hype. Mm. That's a hype man musician. Yeah, yeah. A musician with entertainment. Mm. A musician with performance. Mm. Mm? Those three things. Now, what do we see about Diamond Platinum? Diamond Platinum is a musician mm. and an entertainer. Like Diamond, Okay, when you look at the fact that he sings in Kiswahili, like it's crazy. Because some of us stream to his music, but he has that vibe and he has kept the consistency. He has made collabs with South Africans, Nigerians. You know, there is, there is uh, still on Diamond, there is this song with Chile, mm. Mm, Shoe. Mm. You know, she was in two different languages, mm. but we could just, you know, blend it in. Mm. You get, he did his Kiswahili, mm. and then Chile did his South African language. Mm. So, Diamond Platinum, what in your stage? Mm. I mean, I think Diamond, I know Kubera, he has to be a, a role model to so many people. Like, this shows for our music to st stream out there about normal ways, it's not a must that it has to be a language that people understand. Just have to, it just, it just has to be good because diamond, I many mother to just take it, but we appreciate exactly. So, nothing in Uganda, we can sing our music in our Uganda, and it goes like you know, people stream music. Kati, there is Yalevis, when you listen to Yalevis' music, uh -huh. French. I swear, I'm not tapping. I'm here. I know the, the song. Ladies have a thing with your ladies. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lady thing. It's no. a kera. <laughs> His music is nice. Like, oh, we don't got You know? Uh, yeah. Please. Do you, know what, do you know what that song means? I'll leave that to you. I don't know what it means, but you know. Please check it out. It is savage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And wow. But of course, big numbers are, are a big factor. Yeah. The fact that Diamond is, has the biggest subscription in East Africa, mm. uh, it's, a big, it's a special call to our musicians in Uganda mm. for them to be able to export us yeah. that big. Let them also work on you know, the YouTube, mm. the quality videos, you mm. know, quality choreography. Mm. You know, Diamond doesn't make a song without a choreography. Yeah. Uh, Ugandans are starting to adopt it. Mm, yeah, I mean, da way. dancers are starting to gain relevancy because they, there is something big, the impact on a music video yeah. you get. Mm. So that is a special message out to our artists there. Choreography should be on point. Mm. The dance moves, at least the two years could take it. Nearly the vibe. Then our number one song, of course, is the lovely, uh, it's a very lovely song by Azawi. Masaf. <laughs> in town, Mutiboga, Abaidi. Mm? Hey. No, I love being in those people. Yeah. Abaidi, Bagamba. Or there's a sim, a yo masav. It's not a trend. Eh? Masavo means everything is mm. ash. Mm. Mm? By the way, I love the fact that Kati people. You know, when this started, when she released her music. Yeah. Um, and they used to stream more to that song that has uh, radio. radio in yeah. it. You yeah. know? Yeah. People are getting to, you know, appreciate it. Like, for real. Like, you know, releasing a song, then somebody, AI, then people start appreciating uh, the one with radio. The one of radio, like, 
it was really a hassle. Uh, Radio being uh, one of our biggest legends, mm. this song is like a reminder. Mm. You know, that special melody voice mm. yeah, that we once had that we lost. Yeah. May his soul rest in peace. Mm. Masavo will always be my favorite song mm. by Azawi mm. because there is a lot of Kong history behind it. Yeah. It has a big background. Mm. I mean, this is radio we're talking about. Mm. Mm. You know, wh wh the, one of the artists who were selling us internationally. At some point, I, I like when I heard that, I was like, since radio left some songs, why don't they just get them? Because, you mm. know, there's some way. <laughs> Actually, some of us, are, of course, word on the street is uh, that song was recorded with uh, Azawi mm. and it was left at Swans Avenue, mm. which is really good because, you know, they had different uh, collaborations. Yeah. So they could really produce songs and they leave it there. So by mm. the time uh, radio passed on, it was already there. Mm. It existed. I thought it's just as a song, like rake. No, that is the word on the street. Yeah. You get. Mm. Sometimes we, we don't need to take every information we mm. get for what it is. Yeah. We need to dig deeper. But big shout outs to Azawi. We love mm. you so much. You so really much. made a big impact on our music industry. Mm. You have one of the best songs with conscience. Now, she is. <laughs> she, she, yes. Summer, summer, mm. be, summer mm. be was nice, but of course, today we are talking about Masavu. Yeah, the intro of the song alone is enough. Mm. Mm. Masava, tenga, gotcha. You know that what so. Masava <laughs> So, let's have our bonus track, and our number one song will be right back. Yeah, welcome back from the short commercial break. This is fresh and clean. Mm. Every Saturday, we are with you with DJ Ashley Jerusha. MC Emma and your boy MC Ashray, the party captain. Mm. So uh, right about now, I want us to go into another dimension now, what we understand so well. Mm. Talk about Disney. Yeah. Mm. Talk about screen. Talk about the fantasy. Mm. In, in, everything we would like to see in real life, but we can still have access to it. Yeah. So now we are taking you to the movie world. This is one of the biggest industries in the entire universe mm. keeping us updated happy or in a stress watch a movie mm. girlfriend aku chaye watch a movie jerusha ye chanze watch a movie so you know i watch a movie holy boy i do watch a movie you broke watch a movie you broke it costs you nothing to just stream netflix and chill mm. watch a movie mm. so yeah let's kick it into the movie mm. industry and we see one of the latest updates we have for you yeah from of course these different movie companies always competitive and mm. bringing different types of movies on ground mm. so so um, our number three movie for today is uh it's a comedy movie yeah. like it's really amazing and it's an animation the like, guys that love animation like, you know in most cases when i'm doing movies i like putting in a lot of animations because i find them so easy for anyone to watch ladies with animation <laughs> and basically by the way i'm doing uh animation and visual effects okay yeah like a course that i'm doing now i can tell where the interest is coming yeah. from so uh our number three movie is kung fu panda 4. like guys that have been following uh kung fu panda you know uh we have our number four and it's really uh entertaining uh, it's full of um drama you know i don't know why most movies like most animation movies eh? like basinga basing china china eh. okay because of course China with technology they can mm. make anything come to reality yeah. so they can fake those mm. th those movies and they come into you know the, the real thing mm. oh. so uh, this movie basically there's a uh, um, World War new adventures you know you know guys that have watched this movie it's always like every movie that they bring more more adventure they put in some new characters you know things like that Kati Kingdom stuff. I don't know why. Enough to to take a call your animation one in. We do. We do have an animation actually. Mm. It is very nice. I'm going to share the title with you on our next episode. Okay. Actually, I would love you to really watch because this is a Ugandan-based movie. Mm. With well, of course Salvador. Of course Salvador is in it. Mm. So tell me about Kung Fu Panda. What? So uh, Po must train a new warrior. Yeah. When he's chosen to become the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. 
However, when a, when a powerful shapeless, shifting sorceress sets her eyes on his staff of wisdom, he suddenly realizes he's going to need some help. Teaming up with a quick-witted Cossack fox, Paul soon discovers that heroes can be found in the most unexpected places. Of course. I love that last line. Mm. Heroes are found in the most unexpected places. Yeah. Uh, we have history with Kung Fu Panda. Mm. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. Talk about it. We are the generation of 2000. Yeah. No, could I, 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 I live behind 2000, please. Mm. As long as you're close, you're still part of this generation. Yeah. So let's have our um, number three movie. We'll be, we'll be right back. Thank you. We are back. We are still in the movie industry. Mm. We are still in fantasy and, and our show, of course, fresh and clean. Every Saturday, you know how we do it. Mm. DJ Ashley, Jerusa, the beautiful lady, uh, MC Emma, and, and, and Shiba uh, Ijofu. Shiba Ijofu. She's Nigerian, by the way. Oh, of course, Ijofu. Jello fry so. Ijofu, Ijoma. <laughs> Ijoma. <laughs> yeah, and of course, with your boy MC Ashley, the body captain. Mm. So, yeah, um, we, we took a lot of to get these movies for you but yeah. there are of course those things that are always touching in life um, mm. uh, talk about uh, things including astronomy mm. Mm. Uh, we decided to bring this to you because I've, I've seen many people fantasize about mm. what they cannot see yeah okay. so this is a nice movie called space mm. the longest goodbye mm. I, I i for one have a thing with uh movies of astronomy sci-fi mm. i can never forget yeah because it's it's depicting the the years the world that will be there when of course our grandkids and great grandkids are mm. ones enjoying mm. so uh, the movie is called space the last goodbye uh, mm. this is a team that goes up to to space exploring mm. uh something different but uh they get into some di some different catastrophes mm. yeah. if you to remember movies like star trek Mm. We enjoy those movies. It is related to this movie. Mm. So space, uh, they really got lost. Let me give you a brief, a brief thing about this movie. Mm. They cut connections with the earth. Mm. Now I want you to relate to about you're in a place. <laughs> hmm? No one knows you. Mm. You even know nothing about the place. I can't even risk those things. We go to space and all that now. <laughs> Don't you mean? Space is a beautiful thing, <laughs> actually. Uh, going back to history, not over the whole movie. Bagamba, the first person mm. to pilot mm. eh, that astronaut was a Muganda. Mm. <laughs> Make your research. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe I don't believe that. <laughs> we shall make more information. I mean, more research about that to get the right information. But of course, check it out, Space. The Longest Goodbye. It's really a nice movie. I don't want to spoil for you. And straight to our number one. I don't know why I liked this, but it just amused me. Mm. Okay, Michael. Michael is a gentleman who has played, who has acted movies for us. Mm. Transformers, yeah. one of my best movies. Mm. I see this face in this movie, mm. before I say the name. Mm. And this time he's having a buddy, mm. uh, yeah. a strange buddy. So the movie is called Arthur the King. Mm. So you can think, Arthur the king is actually Michael, mm. yet it's a dog. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this movie surprised me. Yeah. Arthur is actually a dog. Uh -huh. mm. You know, they say uh, the first animal man came was a dog. Mm. Mm. And uh, there are very many people who love dogs out there and they can relate with dogs because of their loyalty. Mm. Mm. So this movie was really touching, Arthur the king. It's yeah. in cinema, I think, here at the moment. Mm. So check it out. I won't spoil for you on this thing. But mm. of course, this is a dog. Yeah. That even you, a lady, and me can really like doing things that even some of your friends can do. Yeah, I understand. Think about it for a moment. Mm. After the King is really a nice movie. Mm. And uh, wh wh why are we putting this movie as one of the key things? I want us to bring out the aspect of loyalty. Yeah. Don't. Actually, I think when these guys do such movies, their intention is not all about like you know enjoyment. Enjoyment. They're trying to teach like you know if a dog can be loyal, why why not a person? 
why not you my br- my my friend my brother my sister my who's sister, not a dog yeah. <laughs> sorry for that so let's have our number one movie we'll be right back so that has been our number one movie for you yeah hope you guys enjoy all these three movies they're really amazing yeah so uh i remain jerusha ties as always u24 fresh and clean you can follow me up on my instagram twitter now uh, facebook everywhere you always find me yeah and i remain mc ashtray the party captain the guy with the vibe always mm. yeah it's mc ashtray on all my social media platforms mm. and big shout out to our show course fresh and clean every saturday we are here to yeah. provide you with one of the best entertainment mm. and the latest updates and trends mm. Please make sure you always you subscribe to our YouTube yeah. channel, of course. Comment, leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment and uh, don't miss the show because mm. it has just started. Yeah. Yeah, and big shout outs to the team, the team behind camera, mm. Hafi and the entire team. Big shout outs to you. Yeah. May you keep keeping us moving. Mm. And big shout outs to the team, of course, Ashley, and the Nigerian. Say the name, I love it again. Ijofo, Ijoma, Ijofo. <laughs> I MC Emma. I MC Emma. Yeah, mm. and of course the beautiful lady Jerusha. <laughs> okay, don't forget to follow us on our social media pages to keep yeah. updated on the latest trends. Mm. Yeah. Until next time, bye bye. Take good care. Fresh and clean.